Hey everyone, welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. Today we're going to be working on a tutorial build. Uh, today we're going to be doing Pitch, Roll, and Yaw. Uh, this will help you with a lot of your flying builds. Uh, if you're not down with using uh, gyro stabilizers or just a regular stabilization glitch, uh, this will give you a little bit more control using WASD and a couple buttons. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, in front of me I have built three different seats and each one of these does something different. The first one is going to be roll, the second one is going to be pitch, and the third one is going to be yaw. So we have each one separated so that it doesn't get too confusing with all the suspension and the bearings, so you can actually see what's going on. So to get started, we have our roll. We have back and forth movement with A and D. Uh, now we're going to have forwards and backwards movement using W and S. It's, it's a little clanky now, but once you put them all together, it will, it will be a little smoother. Uh, so now with buttons, we have left and right yaw. And as you can see, that one's kind of going crazy now because of the suspension glitch. Put you back. Let's put you back. All right. So now once you have the basics done of all these, and we will go over all these, you can actually put something together that looks like this. Okay, so once we've got our lift down, you're going to want to build a base for your chair to go on. It always helps to make it even. All right. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to drop our bearings for our yaw. And on the sides, we can get our hitch. And then we'll come off the back here. There's a little platform here. This will be our roll. All right, so now we need a pipe piece. We're gonna put these on the bottoms. You don't wanna take sport suspension. Attach all of them. Now here's where it gets important. You wanna make sure you attach it to the bearings, not the suspension piece, but to the bearings. This will lock them all in. Okay. From here, you're gonna to wanna to grab an engine and two controllers. Put our engine down. Controller, controller. All right, here's where it starts to get a little bit messy. Uh, so you might want to pay closer attention as we go along with these steps. So the first thing to make things easier is we're going to go ahead and do our, our, uh, our roll. We're going to connect the seat to these vertical bearings here. That is it. We don't have to do anything else right here. So just to show you that this works. It's a little wonky. We'll get it. We'll get it sorted out here in a second. But it is working. Okay. Let's flip these around and see if that will respond better to. And again, you always have to play with these. Yep, that's left and right now. And you can see it's a, it's it's quite fast. So the the best way for us to do this is to tweak those bearings, because they are connected to a seat. We can actually manipulate these bearings. We're going to take these down to speed zero, basically. Uh, we're actually going to get down to one. And I think 10 is a good number for these. So they're not traveling as far. We're going to do that for all four of these. And once we've done this, you'll see that the, uh, the craziness has kind of subsided a little bit from them. Okay, so our bearings have been reduced a little bit. Let's try it out now. Yeah, a lot better, not as crazy. And we can we can adjust it a little bit more so it's not uh, 
doesn't roll as bad, but as we add more things to it, it won't. It's not going to be that big of a deal. So let's get back on our lift. All right. So now uh, we're going to want to do our pitch. So first things first, let's connect our engine to our seat. And then we're going to connect our engine to these outside bearings. And you're going to want all these bearings to be rolling forwards. So as you push forwards on W, it will pitch forward. Try the same thing here. Okay, let's give the engine a little bit of thrust. There we go. We have a little bit of pitch and now let's go a little bit more. Adjust it as you need it. Okay, there we go. All right, so now we're gonna be doing our yaw. Uh, so let's, let's see, we need to grab us a couple buttons. We're gonna go to push buttons for these. And we can just slap these right there on top of that. That'll make things a lot easier to understand. So we go one and two. Connect one and then two to the other controller. Okay, so on our first controller, we're going to connect it to one side of the remaining bearings that we have here and then the other controller to the other side uh, and you're going to want either positive out on both sides or negatives out on both sides depending on how you look at it as long as they're the same when you come in here all right so let's adjust our couple we can see go ahead and do a little bit of 15 percent on both of these i think that'll work Oop. We can actually get to this other controller here now. And we'll do 15% there. We have left and right y'all with our buttons here. So now we have forward. Oop. A little, you know, a little stuck over here. And we have left and right roll. I feel like we could speed that up a little bit to help us out here. We have forwards and backwards pitch. We have left and right y'all. Now from here, you can slap thrusters on it, do whatever you need to do with it. You, you now have a fully functioning pitch roll y'all seat. All right. So now let's apply it to something. Let's put some thrusters on it and actually see how we can use this. So for simplicity, we'll just, we'll just add a thruster on the front here and the back. One thruster, another thruster. We'll just take these and we'll put these on a switch. Simple enough. Connect it up, connect it up. We're gonna connect it to our seat. Probably not gonna need a whole lot of thrust here. So now let's take this out and test it. Okay, we are outside with our new build here. All right, so let's give it some thrust. Looks like we're going to need some more thrust. All right. Give it a little more thrust. There we go. Uh, we do have lift off. Let's go forward. I mean, it's as simple as that. Uh, we can turn. And as you build it, you know, you, you'll, you'll end up tweaking things. You'll learn to fly it better. Each vehicle does fly differently. But as far as I'm concerned, that works pretty well as a two thruster flyer with basic controls. All right. Uh, so that's it. That's my time for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I uh, hope you have learned something from this. Uh, I know I did. Every time I do a tutorial video, I also learn something myself, which is always awesome. Uh, but if you haven't already, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. It does help this channel out a whole lot. 
Uh, and please make sure you throw a like on this video and comment down below on what you would like to see on future builds or what you think about this build. Until then, we'll see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.